Uh-oh, that's not good. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crashy, and today... Oh, dude, I'm so nervous. What is going on over there already? Dude, people gotta stop playing for the kills and the fights, my dude. We're gonna be talking a little bit about Zaras, explaining every single decision I make. So first and foremost, we're starting off. We're doing a kind of bruisery, half damage, half kind of tanky kind of build, because that's really like the best way I like to play them. And we're kiting our camps, right? We're just doing our normal kiting, stepping away, hitting an attack, stepping in the way, hitting an attack, and then we're gonna start pulling it. I think I can actually start doing this a little bit sooner. I think I take too long, or like I kite it for too long. Hold our shield to the end, so that way we get a little bit of extra damage. Then we kite our camp, right? Kite our camp. Kite our camp. I'm missing auto there, so that's bad. That's bad. All right, we'll pull this. Oh no, I'm losing on the mirror. I'm losing on my side lanes already. All right. That's no good. That's no good. Wait, that's not a mirror. Was that a grunge gank? That was a gank? Oh, dang, bro. With the early gank, the blue side gank. He's got a tank crest, too. All right, we're pulling. We're pulling. All right. And we're going to just full clear here. We're going to be looking for an augmentation first item. All right, augmentation first item. And actually, this might be a game where I switch up my build a little bit because I think I might go into a Tainted Blade against the Crunch. It might be what I'm looking to do, like second item here. Tainted, uh, Tainted Blade's a pretty good Zarus item. Oh, I lose this one. I hate it. I hate it. All right. Didn't quite get the uh, the distance I wanted on that. Might be a bit of a rough opener, but we're just going for our full clear here. We already got a, a mid roam off to do a land, so that's solid. That's solid. All right, start kiting this out. We do have our smite here. I can't really help this. Mid's missing. And we'll just finish up our full clear. We'll head back out. We can maybe gank this. They're pushed up. He steals low. I'm watching his health bar. I mean, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Ooh, I'm dead, though. I think that's probably a twofer, unfortunately. Oh man, we got a lot of kills going down. That was a good counter gank, good counter gank. He did blue side rotate over, so. All right, we're gonna grab our spell slasher. Spell slasher, super, super strong item. So yeah, they're, dude, their crunch has three KP already. Like the kill participation, just two assists and a kill. That is uh, a bit rough, and he already backed. So okay, so at least I'm ahead of him in farm, at least in that sense. Uh, but man, he is being very active. All right, we're going back into our next rotation. What we're probably gonna try to do here is look for a camp into like a little bit of river buff pressure. I'll try to like help out mid a little bit. I mean, at minimum, even if I'm just taking a river buff for myself, right? Like anything that we get is better than something that we just leave there to give to them. So kind of the best way to think about it, potentially. All right. So yeah, that's what we're gonna look to do here. We can also sweep here. Okay, so they know I'm here, which is totally fine. So they know I'm here. Bellica should have rotated over to the left side, but I don't know that she actually will. Now the Sereth is a pretty bruisery, tanky Sereth. I mean, we could still look for a gank on it, but the crunch is a little too low for me, and it will put me really far away from farming. So I don't think that that looks like a fruitful gank, right? So even though he, he needs the help, I just don't see that that's going to be a, the potential for me to, to show up. Now we still see the crunch out on field he might look for an invade on my three but we're just farming here we're keeping it nice and chill i think my crunch is probably gonna die okay he gets out and more i guess could definitely use a little bit of pressure the crunch is a very strong early game ganker um, puts a lot of pressure on early so that's kind of what we're seeing a little bit of. He's going to go toward his blue side and i have a little bit of information about his jungle at least from his red side I'd love to step in here. All right, looking for the stun here. Nice. Probably force a flash. Yep. Very good. Force a flash. We don't we don't hate to see that. And now I might look for a left side gank here. 
So I'm going to look for the left side gank here. I know the Drongo has no flash. The steel's getting super, super low, and the Twin Blast might be too low for me to do much off of too, but, oh, man, there's really nothing for me here, unfortunately, unless they start pinching in. All right, that's the best I got. That's really the best I got. So unless they can clean that up, I got nothing left for it. I'll probably farm this wave since we're losing a bit of the wave. He can peel off the Muriel. Alright, now I'm actually just going to base and head out toward my red side. We don't get the Muriel, that's unfortunate. Nothing there for us, I don't want to get dove. My goodness, my goodness. We are feeding a little bit. All right, my red side jungle's up. We're going to go back out there. We got to just keep farming, right? I can see that I'm ahead of the crunch, at least in terms of farm. But, I mean, we're, we're quite literally feeding, boys. We are we are quite literally feeding. Um, it is what it is. The Morgash is maybe looking just for that river buff. If that mid lane needs a, a cover, I'm kind of just looking at the map, right? This is a tip that I always talk about. Look at your map often. Um, I think Bellica's coming out on field, so she'll probably be able to catch her farm. And we have an ultimate, so if I can start putting that into motion, I do know some of those duo flashes are probably coming back up, so, it's, you know, I may just end up forcing a flash with that, but we're going to see what we can do. Alright. Crunch rotating over, saw the Morgash, so nothing for me there. We're just kind of farming here. I, I'm, I'm in a position where I know I'm ahead of the crunch and farm, so I can just kind of like stay ahead of him just by farming. Um, but at the same time, that doesn't leave a lot of room for me to help and like counter gank. So um, I should probably be a little bit active on that front as well. Like the crunch, if he steps back in his jungle, like I am staying ahead of him on farm. So like just linearly farming the way I've been doing and like looking for ganks ahead of me, it's kind of okay. I'd like to be a little bit more active if I'm being like personally honest, just because I have my ultimate. So I'd like to see if I can, there's something I can do. I also think that the crunch is just getting more effective ganks off in that in that way. Um, I'm gonna look for a potential invade. Okay, so that's that's her down. At minimum, this is gonna give me some information because I think the crunch is going his blue side. I do. Um, I don't think that he's gonna have anything up on this red side. Oh, his red is up. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do is go grab his red. Then we're gonna try to grab his red. So I can escape, uh, plan my escape path. All right, we'll pull it down. All right, we pull it down. I'm going to go for this duo lane gank. I do have my ultimate. I do have my ultimate. Start the stun. All right, we'll just take the one. We'll take the one. All right. A little bit of my blue side is still up, but we have a big power spike in base, so what I'm probably going to do is just wipe this out and then go grab that power spike up. I have my crest. I have my augmentation. I'm deciding if I want to slow down the crunch, but I think I'm ahead of him, so I might just play it aug into muty like I would prefer to. Give myself a bunch more haste and uh, a sustain item. I don't really want to use my smite here because I want to I want to leave the option open for me to potentially make a mini prime play or a fang play. All right, so we have augmentation. I think we're going to go into mutilator after we get our ice corn talons. Augmentation into mutilator. Quickly buying. We see the crunch on field at 67 farm, so we're a little bit ahead of him. You know, there's not much there for me. So I'm probably going to have to give them a fang tooth. I don't, yeah, I don't think there's any chance that I stop them from getting a fang tooth. What I'm going to do is try to sweep and find a mid pick potentially. Um, if I can't get a mid pick because she's just pushed in, I'm going to go for mini prime and try to trade this potentially. Um, now it doesn't look like they're actually doing the fang, so I'm kind of taking a little bit of a gamble here. So I'm going to double smite it. So I pop one smite. I'm going to use my ice scoring talents. We'll pop our shield here, get some damage off of that. Step back in, and we're just looking to trade an objective potentially. They may not even go for it, so I might just get this. Okay, we grab that. I'm actually gonna flash this because I see her in her ultimate. Nice, very nice. And now we can shove this. So that's gonna give me a stack for my ultimate. 
We like that, and we have the Mini Prime, and I know that the Crunch isn't over here. He may be on his way, but we should be able to get some really good value out of this. And they do trade it. Okay, but I think that this is a really nice trade. Kill, tower, like we're doing very, very well here. I can even potentially look for some jungle on the way out. All right, very, very good. All right. What do we got here? We could fight him here. All right. Got the Muriel roamed over. My goodness, I am so dead. I am so very dead with the Muriel roam. That's unfortunate that he decided to roam so early. They should be pushing left lane if they can. I don't know how healthy they are. He's backing at full health and mana. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Backing at full health and mana instead of pushing there is a little unfortunate. I mean, they're definitely just ahead of us in terms of the duo lane. 06 duo lane. I gotta try to probably play through my mid laner. I think is building okay, although I'm not sure what's with the uh, Occult Warlock Crest. We're going to go play for some of our red side jungle, and it's going to come down to team fighting over the next set of fangs, I think. It's going to be a really a really big moment. So, um, yeah, we'll build into this uh, Mutilator best we can. Hopefully help this uh, Bellica get a little bit stronger, and then hopefully play through that Crunch, who should be potentially able to roam a lot more now because he has no tower. But I am definitely worried about that uh, that duo lane, which I'm not sure I can really do much for them. If anything, I could gank the, the Sarath here, potentially. If I see her using the abilities. Oh, hello, hello. Okay. Any chance I get over to her? All right. Step away from that. Yeah, Crunch is, is a is a tough 1v1 for me, for sure. It's a tough 1v1 for me, for sure. So I probably just farm. Again, I'm definitely ahead of him in farm. So just focusing on farming here is not a bad thing at all. Yeah, just focusing on farming is not a terrible thing for me at all. Get this camp here. My blue buff will come back up in just a bit, so that'll be a little bit more farm for me. I think invading them is a little bit hard because they are, like, the stronger team right now. So I probably won't see a ton of myself invading. All right. We should have him here unless he has a flash, but... Uh, steel steals the heal, which is a little bit sad to me. That's rough. But at least we uh, get a pick on him. Definitely a much needed pick. So, definitely a much needed pick there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and base. We'll take a base. We're gonna build a little bit more of this component, and we're gonna probably try to get out four rivers if I can. Looks likely next buy will be a citadel. Give ourselves a little bit of that bruiser quality. Ooh, the crunch going down there is not great. That means he's starting to like slow down in his ability to potentially carry so um we'll see if i can get out here damn okay so nothing there for us okay should have the strongo potentially no no follow up there okay no follow up there it's a little bit unfortunate um i think i just keep farming then I keep farming. I'm going to try to shove down some of my right side jungle when we go for this Fang Tooth here in a little bit. Let me see if I can get over to this outside camp. I probably only have time for like the one camp, if even, to be honest. I just got to get this camp down. I won't have enough time to get... I don't think I have enough time to get my Mutilator, which would be super nice, but I really just don't have enough time for it. We see the Seraph in the mid, so that should give Crunch a little bit of time to shove his wave Enemy get that tier one on left side that's nice all right let's look to see if we can play for this so we have any kind of a pick any kind of potential pick there i gotta be careful like hard submitting 
or like sending my ult onto the Muriel. Okay, careful, don't go too deep. I actually think we can dive on this. Just on her ult. Okay, that's a Muriel ult coming down. I have to flash that. If she has a mark on me, I'm dead. I just took so much damage, but I have to get out. We'll see how they play through that fight. Very nice pick. I'm going to be really, really close within gold range of, of waiting for my mutilator. I got to wait for my health anyways. We'll see how they play through that fight. I know Sarath is there now. Get our mutilator. We head right back out for the refight. Okay. I tell them to retreat and I remind them that the Fangtooth is coming up. So we start doing a camp while I have a little bit of downtime. Health should be fine, but I shouldn't need to cover mid turn, I don't think. Okay. Drongo. Okay. This may be a mini prime angle, I'm not sure. I may need to go check it. I'd like to do this if I can. We have that mid lane prio. Yeah, I don't want to give them a second thing to. I think building up on a thing tooth is really important. We have players here. And we see the two on the right lane. Okay. Now what I want to do is maybe catch this Morgush. I do think that she's going to back it up here and we'll probably... Get our tower pushed down. Tower now I need to look at... We need to look at Prime. Alright. Yep, she's looking to ward for me. Okay, we're looking to go in if we can. Onto the Sarah. I was too high in the air. Drop the ice storms. Stay on the Muriel. Okay. Gotta try to take down the crunch if possible. Very good. So now they lose their buff. Very good. Very good. Now we'll take down this mid tower. So just instantly looking at the map, we see that they're we, we got so many of them down. We have this wave shoving here. So we can shove out this tower. We'll take that tower. We have some rivers coming up. Not healthy enough to go for... I'm not healthy enough to go for any jungle invade, so we're just going to look to take this if we can. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, now we're going to back ourselves out of here. Should be a decently safe greedy back. And like I said, we're going to go into the Citadel because I do want to build up a little bit of armor. Either that or I could honestly build up a Tainted Guard, but I don't think I'm going to need it. I think that I can go tanky with Citadel and play into like a really strong item for myself. I think that that should be fine enough. All right, now we farm. I don't have enough information about an invade. I don't particularly feel strong enough that I can just like force an invade. So with this much farm up, I just farm. If I was like really, really strong, I would try to force an invade. I would just literally run out and go straight for an invade, but I'm not really feeling like I'm in that position just yet. All right. Big Prime is up. It might be a roam into mid here. Like a pick in mid angle, if they stay. The Sarath's probably going to rotate back over to her jungle. Or like through her jungle. She probably rotated back this way. Look, there's a Morgash here, potentially. I don't know where Morgash is. We're going to roam into red side then. Try not to... Try to see what we can find. Okay. And if nothing, then we go farm my blue side. We could look for this Drongo. Yeah, we go for Drongo. He might have flash. I think I catch him here. Alright, I have to step away from that. Ooh, he took no damage. Alright, we lose our Belkato Gank on mid. We go farm our blue side then. 
we go farm our blue side. There's nothing really that we lose unless they just full send a prime, but I don't see the motion for it. We're going to lose our mid tower, so we don't lose anything too crazy. I don't really want to turn on that because it's going to turn into an extended fight. Yeah, you have to know they're rotating in, so we don't want to stick around for that. What I'm going to try to do is, before this cascades into my jungle, I'm going to pull this into my jungle. Okay, make sure I get all my farm. Mid's also getting pushed. Only so much I can do. That's a huge turnaround for them. They just killed so much of my team. All right, we try to run into her. Take it. We'll take a kill if we can, but I can only cover so much. All right, back to covering mid farm. While well, she covers that. We'll shove out another mid wave. We do have a fang tooth coming out, so I'm going to try to shove one more mid wave if I can. Which I probably can't, to be honest. I don't have enough time for it. We do have a fang tooth coming up. We are going to look to finish up this citadel. We'll probably build a tech mallet. Um... I don't know how much magic armor I need. So I think a tech mount will probably be fine. That'll give me some good haste and some really good power. So right now we're at sitting at 60 haste. Really, really solid uh, cooldown build so I can spam a little bit. Crunch going a little deep on his own. If he has a nice pick there, though, that could be massive. Okay, that's huge. That's actually huge. I'm going to shove this mid wave really quickly, and then I'm going to peel back and do this. Um, this is a little bit... I'm a little bit pushed up, but we, we see the Seraphon field, so... I can shove this in. Alright. Alright. We do Fang Tooth here. We absolutely do Fang Tooth here. Where is my team? Why is my team not on Fang Tooth? Alright. We're gonna shove. We'll get this down. Okay. Looking for the Fang Tooth for sure. We'll drop the Ice Scorns just to make this go a little bit faster. If they can get the pick on the Morgash, that's easy. But this is feeling very susceptible. I don't know why my steel left so far. I'm in such... Oh, this, this team positioning is so criminal. This team positioning is absolutely criminal. Criminal positioning. I take the Fang Tooth. I have no idea where my steel decided to run off to. I couldn't for the life of you tell you why he thought it was acceptable completely to leave the objective that we were setting up for. Couldn't for the life of you tell you. But at least I slow him down by getting that. I really do think that this duo lane will probably be the reason we lose this game, which is unfortunate because they are definitely going to go for that. So they, they, have to, they have to show up. I think that they absolutely have to put the pressure in enough to try to pull them off of that fight. Um... The steel needs to grow a pair of balls, you know, completely honest. Uh, but I also don't know that they can really do anything. Because, yeah, they just peel back off. It's rough, man. It's rough. I mean, if they can force, you know, someone to take a bunch of damage and then press in. Sadly, I can't see the help, which drives me nuts. I hate this about the spectating in this game. Because now we probably lose them, which is rough, and then we can't really do anything. So now we are, we are massively on the back foot, all from a couple of small mistakes. Um, unless they can kite us kite into our team. I'm close with an ult, you know, but they do have a wave that's shoving back So we might be able to find like a pick here, right? Like a wave that's shoving back could turn into a potential pick here in the mid Doesn't look like it though. I'm gonna try to see if I can pressure over to this. I don't know that he sees me. He might be lazy backing Yeah This is gonna be a huge pick here that's a huge pick. That's going to drastically slow down. So again, you can kind of see the read that I was looking for. I think that he was slow backing there. I think he was lazy backing there. And we go for it. That's going to slow down their push quite a bit. It's going to give me a little bit more power. Uh, and actually a lot of gold. I just got a huge bounty off that guy. I didn't realize he was doing so well. Alright. So that's going to slow down their push a lot. Alright. Just farming up now. Working towards this tech mallet. We need a lot of wards out. We don't really have a ton of wards. I might be swapping to wards here soon. Usually whenever my team kind of goes on the back foot and we're not feeling very, uh, very, very strong, I will sometimes pick up wards myself because it's like I'm not really sweeping out because I end up having to just walk over everything to get to the fights. So I tend to start carrying wards so I can start warding defensively. Um, I don't think that that's like a perfect science, but definitely something to consider. You can swap your vision when you need to as a jungler. Probably one of the only roles that ever really does that. Um, is swap their vision around, right? right we're going to leave this flower up just in case because they're definitely the stronger team. You never know that we might need that to get out. Alright, I need to probably roam into my duo lane. My duo lane's going to get caught out right now if I don't run to them. 
which I just think they're caught out anyways. Yikes, man. Rough matches. Rough matches. Bellica's probably dead. Unless I catch them here, right? We try. We try. We tried. We tried. A little caught her a little bit too far out. A little bit too far out, but we're gonna back it up now. Hopefully that crushes a little bit of their push. So Alright, we're gonna start building some more. Build some more. We have that right lane push, which is nice. I'm just gonna shove out this midway. Damn, we do lose that tower. I was hoping I could get a little bit more mileage out of it. Crunch is diving in quite a bit. I don't think we have much, right? They're low, but there's nothing we can push into them. We could maybe go for the Seraph. Just ult out. Okay. Let's see if I can catch the Seraph here. Nice. Okay. Catch this mid wave. Just trying to be very reactive. Much farm as possible. I feel like I'm rather strong, to be completely honest. I'm on the morgue actually. here. Still keep them here. He's really rotating into this. Take a hit there. We take a flash. We pop the ice corn just in case he's chasing. We didn't really have anybody rotate into us. And he just dives me. Where is my team? Where is my team? 1 and 11 duo lane is tough, man. All right, last but not least, the item that we're going to be looking for is probably going to end up being something tanky. I'm really not even sure, to be completely honest. Maybe it is the Tainted just to kind of slow down his healing. He's super tanky, though. Hmm. I don't know. They're going to get the, uh, the Blaze. They are going to get the Blaze. This is rough, man. I think I have to build like a frontline item, something pretty, pretty tanky. Probably a stone wall will help me stay alive a little bit longer. Um, but I really just don't think we have any chance this game. I think this one is mostly done for. We're going to keep trying to stall it out, play from behind best we can. You just got to back up, got to back up so we can stay alive to contest the next uh, um, orb. It's probably the last thing we can do is contest the next orb. I don't know how long this blaze is going to last for exactly. Hopefully it'll fall off. Um, but yeah, we will do our best. We will do our best. We will do our best. I'm gonna go out to my red side jungle. I probably, like I said, I probably should have swapped towards. I didn't think about it, but uh, we're just gonna try to farm some of this out if we can. Continue to get as much farm as possible. Continue to get as much farm as possible. I think it's going to be a bit of an overlap, which sucks. And if we lose someone to our crunch right now, yeah, we, we're, we're not doing very hot. Enemy killing spree. I'm going to hit him with a good job ping. I'm going to hit him with a good job ping. The 1 in 12 bot lane is, uh, is killer, man. That's killer. That's killer. You might be able to find a pick here. Actually, pretty huge. Stick on the Muriel. Stick on the Muriel. Peel on the Sev. Sev. The Seraph. I can't. I gotta stay alive. I unfortunately do have to stay alive. Okay. Do have to stay alive. I mean, we kind of crushed their push, but I gotta get back out there as much as I can. Gotta get back out here. Shove out this mid wave. Alright. 
I gotta go check it. I don't have a flash, which is gonna be a little bit rough. We're gonna sweep out here. That's why. Gotta know, like, the hot word spots, you know? Gotta know them. And I do just have to look. 100 seconds off, so I know that I'm not warded out. I can go shove this land. That'll at least buy me a little bit of time. And that's a Moragash back. I think that was a Moragash back. We can get a ward on that. That would be pretty huge. I don't have time to go back for a buy. And our steel is in the left lane. So this is a bit of a tough position. If he can shove that out really quickly while all of us stay alive, that'd be pretty big. If they can just get a ward on it, that would be big. We don't really need to do a whole lot. We've bought us a little bit of time. Drongo pushing. All right. Ooh, Crunch is going deep. Crunch is going deep. Oh, wait. Why would he show up here? Okay, well, we forced the flash, but unfortunately we lose one and we don't get one, so. We lose one and we don't get one, and I'm also out of mana, very much so. I will probably just have to play for a flash steal here. I mean, if they don't catch their Drongo, I think I have to take a back. I think I have to really quickly. I don't think we have time. We just gotta get away. Gotta stay away from them. If Steel's dead here, that's not good for us. All right, I shove out mid a little bit. I gotta go get a river buff. I need the mana. Enemy tower under siege. I think I can try to use this to wrap around. Enemy tower under attack. All right, we go in. I'm better. I'm better. If I can jump out, that would be huge. The best I can do. That is the best I can do. I try to get out of here now. I try to just actually get out of here now. Oh no, not good, not good. Try to buy myself some time if I can. I'm dead. I think I'm good. Unfortunately, I'm dead to Megacosm. They gotta get out. They just have to get out. Oh, dude, I almost got out. That's so criminal. That is uh, so criminal. And now they get the they get the fang. My goodness, dude. My goodness. <laughs> this is such a criminal game. I'm doing my absolute best. They're crunch DC'd. That's kind of nice. <laughs> I'll take any any little bit of help that I can get this game. Oh, these builds are just so insanely criminal, dude. What what is what am I looking at? If they can get this pick, oh my god, they don't get the pick. So now they get the orb. Okay. We get our stone wall. That's our last item online. I mean, we are full built now. This is the best we're going to get. Uh, they do. They're just going to get it because even if, you know, even if my team shows up, they, they won't be able to get it most likely. Okay. This is a pretty ridiculous game here. Hmm. This is a pretty ridiculous game. I don't really know what we do. We just have to chill. We have to literally just like sit in base and chill. There's really nothing we can do. We just clear our waves. Like this is a terrifying positioning. She could literally just get dove. We need to ward out our jungle. I'm gonna peek in really quickly since we do have this warded. Okay, it's, I can get a little bit of my jungle farm, which to be honest, I don't even need it, but I just don't wanna leave it. I can get a tonic. That's about the only thing I can buy. <laughs> All right, we try to get this down. They're gonna look for picks. My team needs to back up. Why are you trying to push people when they have a game-winning buff? Criminal, criminal activity. All right, we base, we base. I don't have enough for a tonic yet. If my teammate does, that is the game, unfortunately. Oh, I backed. I, I stopped my back. Oh my god, I'm 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 overheating. 
try to shove this just to let my... Ah, oh, dude, I, I might have just trolled. Just give up the inhib. Please, just don't die. Just give up the inhib. Oh, goodness. Like, giving up an inhib is okay. You can still win if you give up an inhib. But it's very, very hard to win if you give up kills. Because now we have to 3v5 hold. Just clear the farm. They don't have waves. So all we have to do is back. Like, all we have to do is hold our lives up. We just don't die to the true damage buff. That's all we do. We just poke the waves. Good, good. Just buy the time. They don't have much they can do here. We're getting some teammates up. We have our tonic on. I'm looking to see if they ward out. You can see I'm looking for wards on the way out. Nothing here in particular. Let my teammates farm. I don't really need literally anything. So I can search for wards on the way out. Alright, I'm gonna go shove out the off lane. I need my teammates to be low key. I'm gonna go shove out this duo lane. And hopefully we can get this in motion. Alright. We're gonna get this on a slow push. Okay. Alright, I'm actually gonna run out this way because I don't have a bunch of vision or anything. So we're gonna run out this way. And my crunch is dead. And my crunch is dead. Alright. So now we're just back to defending. <laughs> oh man. What a uh what a game. What a game. We're just gonna have to wait for Prime. I'll go defend right lane. Gotta shove this before they get to me real quick. Shove that to me before we... No, there's no way he gets picked, right? Jeez. Oh my god. Oh, the 1v9, brothers. I did everything I could. I did everything I could, man. You just have to core hold. I know we can do it. <laughs> Show some love to Grady. There's really not, not a whole lot we can do. I do have a flash up. Problem is I gotta leave them to farm the lane and I have to go in I have to go try to steal. I don't have a choice. It's either I steal this or the game is over. Alright. We're gonna try to do something unique. Don't have time. Can't see the hell. Stop this. We gotta peel back. I'm just, just dead. I'm just dead. Ah. Well, we tried. We gave it our best. Nobody surrender spammed, but the 1v9 was just too real. The 1v9 was just too real, man. I do hope that they'll just surrender it. There's really no point to let this play out. Unfortunately, I'm just quite literally the only person that's possibly, uh... Yeah. Alright, friends. Hopefully you learned something at least a little bit. Hopefully this gameplay was at least somewhat interesting to watch. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to future predecessor content. Yeah, that's just rough, man. Fred matchmaking is so incredibly bad. But as always, be sure to be kind of one. Tell someone you love them, and I'll see you in the next video.